welcome to the secret lounge where we will get to know your favorite beauty queens and pageant kings. As in, we will talk about everything. This is your Maring Mary Jean. Relax ka lang dyan. Dahil today, sagot ko ang cheka. I am Jenny Lynn Mercado, your Super Serena Queen of the Sky. If in the future, magkaanak kang lalaki, would you like him to follow your lifestyle? I firmly believe that it is not in my hands, nor in your hands, nor in anybody's hands, the future of my boy. Whatever he wants, Whatever he, whatever life that he's going to take, I will support him. I will support him. Our Super Serena best in Long Gown is candidate number four, Maki Mercedes Angelin Mercado ng Cebu City. Guest for today, ang ating Super Serena 2013 Queen of the Sky, si Maki Gingoyan from Cebu City! <laughs> I super love kasi talaga Cebu. Yan talaga ang pinanggagalingan ng mga queens, di ba? Ano naman yung feeling na isa ka sa mga beauty queens of Cebu? Flattered. <laughs> I love it. Matagal ka namang nagpa-pageant. Yes, since I was 21. Bakit 21? Nag-start pa dyan late, ha? 21 talaga? Yes. First pageant. Late bloomer. Ay! <laughs> ano, um, late nakapag-start ng hormones. <laughs> Who cares? Sa stage naman, lahat ng transformation possible. True. Yes. Pero, proud ako that I was able to experience yung mga baral-baral na stage back then. I don't mm. know if you have experienced it, pero sa trans pageantry. ko. Ding <laughs> Charot lang. Charot. Pero alam mo, gusto ko lang kasi sakay. Just Okay, go. Pero yung mga miss-miss, uh -oh. may ganun naman din eh. Sa uh -oh. mga sa probinsya. Uh -oh. But I, I was able to experience yung mga baril-baril na mga um, stage. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung background namin was red tela lang na paper cut As yung in. Miss Gay. Miss Gay pa yun As noon. In. Yes. Pero mga nakailang pageant ka na sa tingin mo from 21 until nag Super Serena. Ka Super Serena was the last pageant you did. MIQPH. Ah, okay. Yes. May MIQPH 2023. Mga ano, mga... 50. Choosy kasi ako sa 50 mga pageants. 50 pageants? Kasali na yung mga barangay-barangay ko. 5-0? Yes! Yes! Teka lang! Teka lang! Oo! Mga fi, parang kinalmahan mo lang yung pag-50, girl. Kasi naman, so, hindi pa nga ako nakapalit. So, meaning ang uba na itong mga amiga sa Cebu, mas marami pa. 100. Of course. And much more dito sa Maynila. Yung mga kontasera talaga dito, pack na pack. Alam mo ba yung mga weekends nila, may mga ano sila, may... Siguro mga... So, pangkabuhayan showcase talaga yes. ito. Yes. Especially Grabe. here in Manila. Manila. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, after after MIQ 20... 2023. 2023. Tingin mo, may next pa. Ako? Oo. Uh -oh. Ay, tiguang naman ko, dahil. Ay, wala, wala sa tiguang, dahil. Mukha ka na mga ano, baguets. Um, would, you re would, you, would you still consider giving... Maybe. Gusto mo ba mag-51? <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Pero eto na nga, umpisa na natin ang ating check for today. Anong pakiramdam that your batch in Super Serena 2013 paved the way for trans Pinay queens to be recognized and embraced by the fans until now? Ito seryoso to ha. Every time I join pageantry, I always see it as an activism. Mm -mm. So, despite of the fact na hindi ako nanalo doon, I still feel na it was a big win for me because mm -mm. it was the pioneer of trans visibility here in the Philippines. I so, love. flattered mm -mm. ako doon. Mm -mm. And especially, it inspired so many young trans women. And it also inspired the trans pageantry movement to evolve. Yes. Hindi na yung 
for the purpose of entertainment lang. Oh, oh. It became a purpose. Mm-mm. So And kasi before that, di ba, parang gino joke time lang yung mga trans na akala nila babae ka pero hindi, pero hindi eh. Ito sila babae sila, di ba? Yung yung understanding lang natin before the visibility nga na sinasabi mo is not that, you know, hindi pa talaga natin na pag-uusapan kasi. Very true. Uh-huh. So it w- it opened the eyes of the Filipino, and it yes. also challenged mm-hmm. our own culture. Mm-hmm. Especially when I said or mentioned na transgender, because I feel like it was really the peak of being challenged. Ano ba yung transgender na sinasabi yes. ni Maki? Oh, so oh. everybody was challenged of what it was, and it was the beginning of conversations of mm-hmm. normalizing transgender existence okay. and separating. Yung LGBT na yon. Kasi mm-hmm. LGB, it's sexual orientation. Yes. Tapos yung transgender, is gender identity. So right. it became a start of educating people. Which is very, very important. Very, very important. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi may iwasan that there are women contestants who are still not in favor of allowing trans to join the pageants ng mga kababaihan, di ba? Meron naman daw kayong sariling pageant, sabi nila. What's your take on this? I live in Tondo. <laughs> I love, I love the opening statement. Um, Medyo familiar. <laughs> the take is very sad and poor. <laughs> ano siya? Um, I okay to. Totohan nito. I totally understand where these women are coming from, and I do not agree on their stand, but I totally respect it. Yes. Primarily because the lack of education when it comes to SOGI, sexual orientation, gender, mm-hmm. di- gender identity, and expression. However, it's it's good that there are cisgender women who questioned it and who openly give their opinion towards it because it's a start of Letting people understand, yes. and it's a start of a conversation. Yes. So I think it's still, for me, I may be biased because a transgender woman, ako, but I think it really promotes inclusivity because transgender women are women. Oh. Unless the organization itself specifically states that they want a, um, ano tawag doon? cisgender woman. Kung baga, ini explain talaga nila na born, born female. Yes. yes. Oh. And uh, I really think na. If some women disagree, then let them let us hear them. Yes, absolutely. Wag nating wag nating i-block right away. Correct. Just because you're hearing otherwise. Correct. And yung sinabi mo nga, it is a start of a good conversation. Let us explain, explain your side. Let let them also explain their side. Hindi yung nangyayari kasi sa social media ngayon na ah homo ka kasi hindi mo sina hindi hindi namin gusto yung nari yung True. sinasabi mo. But no, I think education talaga ano mo. Maay, pwede naman nating pag-usapan. Oo, and maayos na pagkakarelate. True. And let's make it a, a healthy environment. A for... Healthy debate. Oo, healthy kasi conversation. Oh, oh, nang away-away, masyadong masyadong nega. Pag-usapan na lang natin. Exactly. Right? Marami akong napapanood na viral videos ng mga Becky winners na nagre-reklamo sa resulta ng sinalihan nilang town pageants sa mga sinabi mong baril-baril pageants. Sa tingin mo, tama ba ito? O dapat the judge's decision should be respected as final? I've never had any experience when it comes to barangayan shows here in Manila. And I wanted to, to be honest. Parang mm-hmm. ano yun? Parang, um, anong tawag dito? It's like, your being contesera as a transgender woman hindi magiging completo if you haven't experienced that for me lang oh, ha. so oh, kahit oh. nga ngayon I I was able to um, compete in MIQPH 2023 iba pa rin yung galawan dun sa barangay ni eh. however with regards to yung mga talak and nagreklamo Mm-mm. the thing is in 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 the trans pageantry world may mga Kung baga family kami, so isang grupo or parties, and then there are some situations where yung isang judge ay may kailala sa isang ah, partido, and then if yes. it's not in favor, oh, don't oh. na nagreklamo. Nagreklamo. Talagang aggressively. Yes, although 
Well, content nyo naman yun. Daddy, push, go. <laughs> Pero, story mo yan, bida ka dyan. Exactly. Pero let's, let's try to minimize it because we can't deny the fact na ma-generalize talaga, especially that we are a small community. So, mm-hmm. Ewan ko sa inyo, dahil ba't nagreklamo kayo? <laughs> Join na lang tayo sa pang 52 na na passion. And let's hope na may kilala tayo doon. Pero hindi nga, kasi... Pageants naman talaga sometimes it's really out of your control. True. Eh, diba? And That's it's a gamble. It. And it's Always. a gamble yes. talaga. Every time you step in a competition. Very true. Of course, you want to control it as much as you can, but you can only do no. so much. Very diba? true. So at the end of the day, enjoy mo na lang. Pag nanalo ka, then celebrate. <laughs> Pag wala naman, take away some experience, some Very, friends. Wow! You can only take it. Transpinais, most especially beauty queens, are known to be very well opinionated and outspoken. Dapat bang may limitasyon din ito para hindi madamay ang community o is it really a must? For me, I don't think it has something to do with limitation. It has something mm-hmm. to do more with being responsible of what you share Mm-mm. or what you what's your take on a certain situation which i agree as what i've said earlier whatever you do as a transgender woman or as part of the lgbtiq community and that's because we are a minority magiging generalize yung actions mo Mm-mm. so i don't want you to limit your opinions but i want you to be responsible on whatever op- opinions that you take on a certain situation kasi pag may hindi sila nagustuhan, alam mo naman ang cancel culture natin. Cancel pag, culture, yes. Pag may hindi sila nagustuhan, sasabihin nila, oh, lahat ng LGBT ganyan. True. ba diba? Ganun na agad yung pag-iisip nila, which is very wrong. And sana matuto na rin tayo sa mga, mga ganong way of thinking, ba diba? Right now, medyo mas tinatangkilik ang mga drag queens dahil sa napapanood natin sila sa TV. Do you think dapat may gawin ang mga trans beauty queen to keep up? Or carry na, carry na yun? I love drag queens! I mean too! Okay. Nakikita ko si Mama Ru kahapon. So anyways. Um, no, 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 no. I think trans, it's, it's two different parts of the community. Drag queen is a form of art. There are people in the drag community who are straight and not part of the LGBTIQ community. There are... Um, ang pagkakaalam kasi sa mga tao is that yung drag queens are the same with transgender women or ang mga drag queens, lahat bakla, lahat Ay, iba din. Ay, talaga ba? Ako nga, iba yung understanding ko kasi una ko napanood ang drag queens dahil nga sa drag race, yes. right? And at that time, there was a, a season na ang issue dahil may isang nag-out as trans. And ayaw siyang i-accept ng mga co-competitors niya just because she's trans and she's beautiful already and pandadaya daw yung because she's already feminine. Parang wala na daw transition. Pero anong... That, that, that's exactly... And that was a good situation na mm-hmm. ipinawha, ipinahiwatig dun sa, ano, sa, 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 sa show na yun. At napag-usapan, no? At napag-usapan. Because that's how diverse drag Uh-oh. community is. Yes. Even straight people are there. Even yes. a trans man is there. Yes. So parang bang contradictory siya. Uh-oh. Wait lang, you transition to be a man, but then you wanted yes. to present yourself as a Parang it's woman. a stage for, exactly. for ano talaga, no? your art. art. Oh, Tama. Oh. So, I don't think trans women need to do something because we are being overpowered by drag. Um, we just need to continue what we are doing as transgender women. And in the first place, it's not a competition, di ba? In the no, LGBT, walang competition na ganun. You're not competing against drag, against gay na mukhang straight, gay na mukhang gay. Wala. Wala. You're, Wala. Well, you're... honestly, there are. <laughs> <laughs> Bahala na sila. Bahala Pero na you're sila. one, di ba? As yeah. much as possible talaga. Sana isa lang yung community yes. kasi yes. isa lang naman yung ipinaglalaban. Okay, on to our next segment ang What You Think Mare. Magre-request kami ng fearless answers from you. No generic answer. Dapat specific. Go. Are push. you ready? Okay, push, push down. Mare. Let's go. Most beautiful Miss Philippines regardless of the title. Chris Tiffany Hanson, Filipino yes! International. Yes! Taga sa Intercontinental pala. Ako ang amiga. Filipina celebrity that has a timeless beauty. I'm torn between Gretchen Barreto and Christine Hermosa. Pwede both. 
I saw her. She's so pretty. Christine Hermosa. Worst pageant in the Philippines. Hoy! <laughs> Sige na, fearless ito. <laughs> Hindi ka namin ikukote, promise. Wait. Wait. Uh, Miss Grad. <laughs> uh, ano? International or Philippines? Philippines! I'm international! <laughs> Most questionable oh. win in Philippine pageantry. Uy, <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell us? Sige na, okay na na. Oy, dili ka na mo ikot. <laughs> Most questionable win um, in Philippine pageantry. Hey, my QPH. It's twenty twenty three. Nakakaloka. Best pick to be considered as the face of trans Pinay community. Best pick? Uh oh. To be the face. Ako! Oh, <laughs> bakit mo? Why, Why not? not? LGBT celebrity na mapapasabi ka ng anyari sa yumare. <laughs> um. Aura. <laughs> <laughs> Straight male celebrity, you wish to be open minded to become your boyfriend. Straight. Sinet. It's complicated. Wait. Sinet. Um. <laughs> um I don't mag- know his name. Si pero no. nasan siya anong show? Gumabaw. Marco Gumabaw. Yes. Okay, why not, 'di ba? Baby oh. Becky wanted to mentor to become a queen. Baby Aura. <laughs> <laughs> Filipina to be considered the best bet to be hailed an LGBT icon. Filipina. Oh. Vice ganda. And on to our next segment, ang Spill the Tea. Ito na ang iyong final Q&A. Alam ko namang handang-handa ka na dito. Bilang nakasingkwenta namang kaday. <laughs> okay, here is your question. Bilang isang pageant enthusiast yourself, sang-ayon ka ba na dapat nang i-boycott ang mga international pageants na wala pang nananalong Pinay? Yes. Big yes. Primarily because a lot of candidates are doing so much to to get that crown, to be in that journey. And if and the same thing with the organizers as well. However, if if we keep on pushing through and our efforts are not being seen, why do we have to push through? So we boycott na lang natin. Let's try to focus on other organizations who are more than willing to see our efforts. Once or I mean, after two years, siguro then yeah, why not? Try. Oh. Try. Thank you so much, Maki, for giving us your time and your wit and all your fearless answers to mm-hmm. our mm-hmm. challenge. Sa AO. It's an honor to be uh, to have you here in our show, The Secret Lounge, and also I'm sure na it's an honor. Na picturean mo naman ng isang show sa kaya. Ako. Take it away. Ako sa day. Sige na. Ako sa day. Oh, it's a It's Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, oh mga kongare. Thank you, MJ. Kumare, sana nag-enjoy kayo sa ating episode today with Maki. Ako talaga ang takeaway ko dito ay every time I get to talk to somebody na part ng LGBTQ, mararamdaman mo pa rin talaga kung gaano kalalim pa rin yung ipinaglalaban nila sa Pilipinas. And sana since beauty pageant or any competitions, drag uh, competition is a platform for them to be heard. Sana maging open-minded pa tayo dahil ang tagal na nilang ipinaglalaban nito and feeling ko yung bansa natin napaka-behind pa rin natin when it comes to acceptance. So, let's have an open ears and let's have a healthy conversation at malay mo mas maintindihan natin sila. Thank you mga kumari for watching and kung may mga suggestions pa kayo at request na maigas natin dito sa The Secret Lounge, just don't be shy. Comment mo na yan, papakinggan namin yan. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel. See you mga kumari!
To all my trans sisters here and abroad, I have been creating a safe space for us to find a genuine relationship. If you are looking for a serious relationship with a male partner, you can check our website. It's My Transgender Date. It's also available here in the Philippines on App Store and Google Play Store. See you there!